Lifting Up Jesus, Opening His Word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here live in England with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, one of the believers had the question, what is the definition of the terms mashal and nimshal? Mashal and nimshal are important in biblical interpretation or scriptural interpretation. They are Hebrew terms. The book of Proverbs in Hebrew is called Mishlei, the book of mashals. Proverbs is a book of mashals. What is a mashal? A mashal is an example of something from everyday life or culture or from nature that all people would be familiar with. The nimshal is the spiritual interpretation or illustration you attach to it. <coughs> We've answered this question many times. <coughs> a gold ring through the nose of a swine, mashal is a beautiful woman without discretion, nimshal. The example of something from everyday life or culture or from nature is the mashal, the interpretation of it spiritually or the application of it, the illustrate, what it illustrates is called the nimshal. Now, what a parable actually is, is an elongated marshal in the form of a story. <coughs> a parable is an elongated marshal in the strong of a in the form. <coughs> sorry, an elongated marshal in the form of a story. Um. So we have a relationship between a proverb in Hebrew, hermeneutically, and the parable. Uh, this is about, about, again, hermeneutics, but we don't want to get too far off the point. We've explained these things multiple times. That is the basic meaning. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you, Jacob.